guys, so I am filming a get ready with me and it's basically like a chit chat so it's going to be pretty long probably because I'm going to be doing my full face um, and eyes and everything like that. I'm just doing my everyday makeup look. Um, but yeah, go ahead, pause the video right now you guys, go get you guys some coffee or tea or water, whatever you want, and some snacks. And get ready with me. Um, so let's go ahead... I'm going to moisturize, dun, dun, dun. I'm my mirror closer, um, okay, so I filmed this video yesterday, and literally, guys, I was doing, um, I had done my face, no, I hadn't, yeah, I was doing my face, that's what was going on, and then, like, my freaking camera shut off, I'm like, oh my lord, what just happened, I was like, did my battery die, like, what's up? So I like plug it in, get ready to like start back up. And the thing is like, memory's full. I'm like, what? It says I have 20 minutes left. <laughs> so I'm like super confused about it. No, it said zero zero, but I thought it said 20 minutes. I don't know what was going through my brain. So here I am again doing the same thing because this is my everyday look, of course. So why not do the same thing? So I'm just taking my Aveeno positively. Uh, positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer. Um, if you guys, I'm gonna list everything down below for you guys. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my lips with my Soft Lips Cube and Vanilla Bean, which I love. Um, and then, you can see I have some honkin' zits on my forehead. Actually, they're not as big as they were. Um, literally when I filmed it yesterday, it was like giant. And I took... I had taken a shower that morning and the I did an apricot scrub on it and it's died down since. And this little guy is just what whatever, it's doing whatever it wants. Um, but also you guys, uh, I mentioned the soft lips cube and that apricot scrub. If you want to see what I'm talking about and more about them, the link for that video is down below. It's called my campus box box. Um, and for that box box, I did it a little bit differently because I decided to try out the products and not do an unboxing so I could give you guys some reviews. Because I feel like unboxings like that can be kind of pointless, so I wanted to be able to use the products and tell you guys about them. So anyways, I just shaped up my brows with this Ardell brow shaver thing, I don't know what it's called. I already have my dress on for the day too and my hair has been curled. Um, if you want to know what I curled it with, um, I'm going to tell you down below. And I'm sorry that it's, like, sticking out here. I'm going to be pinning it, but I just have a head bun, head bun in for right now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply some sunscreen to my face. This is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock in an SPF of 70. And it just has... I use this kind of like a primer, and it's also protecting my skin from the sun. Because when I go out in the sun, um, it's very 50-50. I can, like, tan... Or I can just like, uh, oh my lord, I can tan or I'll pretty much either come out like a lobster and then tan, and then be tan, or I'm just going to have a burn and like not tan. But like most of the time, I burn and then tan, so I'd rather not be tan at all, even though you can still kind of get a tan with sunburn, or with sunburn, yes with sunburn, huh? with sunscreen, but like, you know what I'm saying. Guys, just a heads up, you already know how long the video is, I don't. This video can't be any longer than 44 minutes, so we're already at four. Wow. I haven't even done anything, you know? And I want this to be unedited, just so you guys like know what's up. Also, I put a sign on my door. No, it's not even like or anything. I literally just went and got some notebook paper and wrote, uh, filming, knock, because that's how professional it is here at the household of Emily. Because my brother is homesick and, um, he doesn't want to be in the videos, so I kind of put that up because he'll sometimes come in here like, hey, what's up? And I don't think he wants in the video. I really doubt he would want to be in this beauty video. video. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to go ahead, while I'm waiting for this to kind of absorb a little bit better, I'm going to use the eyeshadow primer in green, which I use like a crap ton of this, 
and my tube is still freaking full and let me tell you I bought this when I was in middle school so let's see let's think here how long ago that was I don't know and it was the beginning of middle school I think I bought it in sixth or seventh grade I think it was seventh um, so it's been like six years seven it's been seven years yeah crazy almost seven actually since I've been in middle school which is so crazy to me because I'm not even that old I mean I'm 19 years old I'm gonna be 20 in February next year and my boyfriend's birthday is in October and he'll be 20 so yay <laughs> um I don't know I get excited about birthdays am I the only one I don't know and I'm just trying to use up my prime time foundation primer from Bare Minerals. I don't really want to use it up, but I love it nonetheless. Because I'll probably just have my boyfriend buy this for me. Yeah. Like, babe, I really need this. Because it's like my favorite primer ever. I used um, the Professional. What the heck? I had some here. Where'd it go? I've used the Professional, which I like a lot as well. That's like probably number two. Or it's actually probably number three because my other favorite is from the drugstore. So I don't know, I might use the drugstore, I might use, or buy this, or a drugstore one. But the drugstore one is L'Oreal's Magic Perfecting Base. Uh, it's the bomb. And yes, they do still sell it, and it's like 10 bucks, which is a really good deal. I think this one's in its 20s or 30s. I think this one's in its 20s, and the professional is like now in its 30s because I think it only comes in the big size, but correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so I'm going to let this stuff just kind of chill on my face, and I'm just going to spray it with some tea tree water. It says Lush, but I actually um, just made some of my own and put it in this bottle. I don't really like the spray on this thing because it kind of just like sprays in one area, so you really have to just like go everywhere. I want something that will cover my whole face in like a couple of sprays. It doesn't seem to do that. Okay, so I've already primed my eyelids, so I'm going to move on to face or eyes. What the heck? Um, so I'm using the Naked 3. I'm going to pick up Strange on a fluffy brush if I can find it because, you know, girls got so much crap on my brushes. I need to, today my task is to go through my makeup, to go through my closet. Um, I can't freaking find it. There it is. Um, to go through my closet, to go through my makeup, and just kind of declutter, I guess. Which, I cleaned my closet, but I didn't go through my clothes. I just, like, went through the random junk that's in there. Because, um, my boyfriend's stuff and my stuff is in there. We have, like, a decent, it's not, like, a decent size, but it's just, like, a small walk-in closet. And, um, we just had stuff since we moved and everything. You guys can totally hear that. It's a freaking, like, helicopter, helicopter? It's a freaking helicopter or something. Um, but, yeah, we just had, like, a bunch of junk in there, and... And we just had it thrown up on the shelves or something, so you know, didn't have good storage, and I fixed that. So no worries. I'm taking Nooner and um, Liar and putting this in my crease right now. This isn't really a tutorial. I'm just telling you what I'm doing, but just to get ready with me. Hey guys. So how have you guys been? Anything new in your guys' life? Um, for me. College, I am on week four, so next week I am going to be halfway done with my first two classes. Um, I'm really excited about the class. I have a class, um, the two classes I'm taking is College Comp 1, and um, which is just, what is that, English basically, and then the other one is Preparing for a Career in Early Childhood Development. If you're new guys, Hey, I'm Emily. I'm going to college for being, like, to be a teacher at Kaplan University, and I'm already a licensed nail tech. That wasn't working for me. So, moving on to the next career. Um, but yeah, so, the class, I have an assignment in both the classes, and the one, it's like, whatever, it's an okay assignment. I'm not, like, cr like, crazy about it. The one I'm, like, really excited about is one in preparing for a career in early childhood development because we are picking our electives for our degree program right now. We're writing why we think we um, need to take these or what kind of skills we'll learn from these classes, which I think is really fun. I just took Strange on a blending brush and put it all over that. I'm going to take, what is this, Buzz and Burnout and mix the two together 
And this eye look kind of changes, but I'm always using the Naked 3. 9 times out of 10. And for lid colors, I always end up just using my finger, just because it's like got the most pigmentation for me. I just appeared for a sec. Okay, you guys are probably like, oh my god, she's at 10 minutes and she hasn't even done anything. I know. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to take factory and just do it here in the outer corner. Just like so. Alright, I'm going to move on and... Why did I throw it on the floor? Okay. Make sure I have no fallout. Good to go. And I'm going to move on to foundation. So for foundation, I am... Or I've been using... One day it'll be different... And the next reason now. So I've been using the NYC Smooth Skin, which I love. Um, this is in 676 Ivory, which I haven't found it at my Walmart, so I don't know. And then it's only like $3. And then the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation 3-in-1 in the shade 810 Classic Ivory, which is too dark. This is like the second one up, which I don't know what happened in my brain, but I was like, this is the one I want. No, it's like not right. It's a little bit too dark, so I have been mixing the two together, but I actually have been wearing this on its own and lightening, with, lightening it with some concealer, so it's been working pretty rad. I'm pretty happy about that. So I'm going to take one pump and just kind of put it on like so, and then I build it up because clearly one pump is not enough for this princess. Actually, kind of just depends on what I'm going for after I have it on. So anyways, these brushes are the bomb.com. These ones right here, oh my god, she's using Sigma. No, I'm not using Sigma. These are not Sigma, guys. Like, I can't even believe. I've never used a Sigma brush before, but I bought these because they looked like Sigma brushes to me because I watch Melissa Autry. I watch pretty much everybody that's, like, a huge YouTuber has Sigma brushes. So that's where I've initially seen them, but then other people also have Sigma brushes, um, like Carly Humbert. Um, she's not, she doesn't have like a million subscribers or anything. I'm not sure how many she has, but I don't think she has a million. If I'm wrong, whoa, I didn't know. That's awesome. But, she has some Sigma brushes. And these just reminded me of like Sigma face brushes. So I was like, I'm going to try these. Because the set, you got four of them, which I'm going to be using all of them in this video today. And I'm going to be filming a review, so be on the lookout for that. probably be filming it today actually if you must know um but these are amazing I can't even tell you how awesome they are it's better than like any brush I've ever used in my life so I'm not even being dramatic the set was only $5.94 $6 and you got four brushes and they're really good quality and I don't know, you can't really tell, but I'm going to be doing a review, and I'm going to take pictures of my face and stuff, so, uh, yeah, but I'm definitely going to buy another set to give to my mom, and just for me to have backups, because why not? Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm not really feeling like doing another layer, which is odd, because I always want to do another layer, um, but I'm not going to do another layer, so it's good. Thank you, cover girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know, I'm like so weird, if you don't know me. I haven't taken a drink of my iced coffee in a little hot minute. I make my own iced coffee at home. Well, clearly you can tell. It's my safe haven. It's my safe haven? It's my happy place. That's what I meant. I don't know why I said that. Um, so normally, uh, see, I forgot. So normally I would take these two colors, but today I didn't do that. I have no idea why. Um, but I would take the green corrector or the pink corrector um, again, in the review, I'll probably have a link to a video, or show you how to use it in that video, I'm not sure, but I'll have a video of this whole palette, how to use it, what I do with it, all that jazz. <sighs> and I forgot to do it in this video, but I do normally do it, I just don't have a lot of redness today. I'm going to use the pink, though, because pink is for if you have dark spots. I don't have any, 
um, dark spots like on my face per se, but I do have some um, under my eyes. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it and I've never done it over my foundation group, so this could be a total fail. And put this over my dark circles because Beba did not get no sleep last night. Yeah, I did, but like not very much. Yeah, I did. No, I don't know. I went to bed at like 2. Yeah, I know. How crazy. I'm just taking that same foundation brush and coming underneath and patting it. I'm not really buffing because we just want this to be brightened. Brightened? That's not a word, Emily. Brightened. That's what I meant. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me think. I want, oh yes, I'm really excited about the weekend. What are you guys doing? Have anything planned? Um, I am going to be going, uh, me and my boyfriend worked at a ballpark last year. And he's been working there for a lot longer than I have. But when his, like, little, his, the person that pretty much just, like, runs it and stuff, um, saw me with him or whatever because we were at a ballpark thing, like, get-together thing. I don't know what it was. Oh, it was at a bowling alley. And he was like, she can work there, too. So I ended up working there this summer, last summer, which was, it was kind of fun. It was kind of, like, an awesome experience because I've never really done something like that before. I'm just taking the lightest concealer in this palette, which I've already hit pan on. And... I don't even think I told you what this palette is. I'll tell you in a sec. But yeah, so we're going back um, to go just say hey to uh, one of our friends is still working there. Um, the other guy, he's not working there anymore. He was just there because uh, my boyfriend was there pretty much. I don't think the owner really liked him working there, but we liked him. He's awesome. Um, I'm just going to use this as like... Um, highlighter type of deal today I haven't done with this yet but anyways this palette is three maybe like two to three dollars it's no more than five but I'm pretty sure it's three and let me tell you guys it is amazing like um it's not creased on me and it's really good quality you got you have a lot to choose from um for shade as shade wise I feel um but even if you're, like, really hesitant about it, it's made with mica. I know the box did say that. Um, and I'm pretty sure that you can just contact the seller and they will tell you. Um, on Amazon is where I got it. I'll have a link for it down below, but it's so awesome. Um, I'll also have a review for this coming up, too. But it's so awesome, you guys. I can't even believe. I was really skeptical about it as well. And when I received it, I was like, oh, it's not very big. And then I was like, wow, like, I kind of like this out going to be really good for um, traveling. So I like the size of it now. But um, yeah, I think it would be great for people who are just new to like cream contouring and cream highlighting and doing all that stuff. So definitely buy something more inexpensive, get the hang of it, and then buy something more expensive. That way you know what you're doing instead of like wasting a whole Anastasia Beverly Hills one, and you're like, oh my god, I just wasted 50 bucks, and I didn't even know what I was doing. I don't know how much it is, but, you know, something pretty expensive like that. And just nice and bright. Um, I'm gonna set that with my airspun, which you guys, um, do you guys know if there's, like, a unscented airspun? Because the smell is like an old grandma, which is okay. It reminds me of my grandma, but, you guys... I'm not teen. Okay, so anyways, I'm taking this brush, it's also in that set, and just coming right up underneath and packing it on. We don't want no creases. So I'm doing the under eyes here first. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to just kind of take it where I just applied it to. I'll be coming over it in a later stage, but we'll do it now, just to make sure. I really like this one because it's a lot bigger than the one I own of that shape. And yeah, it's really soft too. They're all really soft. Okay, so I'm going to move on back up here. Should we do the eyes? Yeah, we're going to go back up to the eyes. And I have been using this Tweezer Man Tweezer like travel eyelash curler because the one I normally buy is the e.l.f. eyelash curler for a dollar and I just replace it uh, probably every three to six. It just depends on how messy it gets. I would say it probably lasts like, I think the last one I had lasted me a year, but it was well way overdue because sometimes 
I'm like, I'm going to curl my lashes with mascara on, which I don't really typically do. And then I'll clean it afterwards, but this one for some reason, like, stayed that way. It stayed all gunked up. So, whatever. But I think that this does a really nice job. It's just something I already had. Would I recommend you to buy it? Mm, if you're looking for a travel one, yeah, but I don't really think it's necessary to have a travel thing. I also have one by Sephora, but it doesn't curl as good, which is strange. Okay, so I was going to use this today. This is really, sh like, I've seen things like this before. This is like a fiber thing where you, like, put on something, then put the fibers on, and then, like, coat it in another layer of that. I'm going to just do a whole separate video demoing it out for you guys and talking about it because I'm not really sure how I feel about it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my Lash Accelerator by Rimmel London, which is almost gone. And just put this on just one coat because I'm going to do some false lashes today, which I don't typically do either. But I did yesterday because I was filming this video and yeah. Which is good because it was the first time I was trying out those lashes and it actually worked out well. So I kind of wish that I was able to film that whole video yesterday, but I'm happy I'm doing it today. And it's literally like early in the morning. I never get up this early. Like, lately I haven't been. And considering I was up till like, what did I say, 2-ish? Something like that. I was up at 8.30 this morning, like getting ready for this video. It's pretty crazy. So I'm going to let that just kind of chill and dry. I'm going to move back down to my face. And I'm going to apply my favorite blush, which is the Tarte Glisten Blush. Um, I'm not sure if this is limited edition. But it smells amazing. Anyways, I'm going to take another brush from that set. And I'm not sponsored in any way. I just really love these brushes, by the way. Um, is this the right brush? Yeah. This one's like a smaller domed kind of brush. This would also be good for contouring too. But I just was like, you know what? I'm going to use this as a blush brush. So these are great for cream products, cream products because they are synthetic bristles. So, anyways, Glisten is just a beautiful kind of... I feel as if it's a peachy shade. Like a peachy pink. Nah, it's peach. It's like coral, but it looks pink in the container, or whatever you would call this. So anyways, I'm just dabbing it on like so. You can kind of swirl it out if you want to. I typically apply this with my fingers, but since I've had that brush, I'm glad I don't really use my fingers because it's just like a big mess off the wipe off my hands and everything. So, you know, I'm just going to go over the edges just to make sure it's blended into the foundation so it looks more natural. Natural. I'm putting a whole face of makeup on. Oh my god, I thought it said 30 minutes. I was like, oh my god. I know, we're at 23. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and contour now with the cream contour here in this concealer palette. And for me, I've been using this shade, which is the third from the last darkest. And again, um, an angled, this is why I bought this set, an angled buffer brush, kabuki brush, I guess. I don't know. And I'm going to show you on this side because you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Okay, you guys, I have been obsessed with Nick Jonas music. Like, I used to be obsessed back in the day and like, I don't know, must have been like, grade school, high, not high school, but grade school, maybe a little bit of, uh, some middle school too, and I love the Jonas Bros. My favorite was actually Joe. I never really liked Nick. And then he came out with this new album, like the, I don't know what it's called, but with chains and stuff. You guys, I can't even begin to tell you how awesome it is for like my ears. I love every song almost. I don't really listen to Wilderness, but that's just because my boyfriend doesn't like it. So, you know. All right, contour done, Supernatural. Okay, and I'm just gonna take my fingers and take the highlighting one in here, which is a nice highlight. It's just nice and subtle. I just take my middle and my ring finger and just put it on the tops of my cheeks. And then before moving on to the next side, I just go ahead and 
wipe off my fingers and dip back in and do this side. And then um, do the same when I go to the bridge of my nose. And I just use one finger for that. Then to make sure everything got blended because the nose isn't super blended right now. Uh, I'll take the foundation brush and just go over and pat over every or over all the highlight highlighted areas. Okay. I had an itch, so I decided to itch it with my brush. Why not? Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do brows. I've been using the Anastasia Beverly ha Beverly Halls highlighting brow kit. Beverly Hills highlighting brow kit. Um. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. I have somebody with light coming in the room. I cannot find for like me. This is really how my, like, every, oh, there it is. This is how my everyday makeup routine goes. I'm always looking for, like, my freaking eyebrow brush. Literally, I never find it. This one's by Coastal Scents, and it's really good. I used to use the, um, Anastasia one, but I lost it. I'm taking just the lightest shade. It's medium taupe, medium ash. But I'm not sure if it comes in any other colors. I can hear you guys crying outside my door. I don't really want to go and get them because this video is very long. Um, also, I want to do a room tour. So let me know your thoughts about that, just like a bedroom tour for now. So let me know your thoughts about that. That got kind of chaotic. I'm going to that one. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and blend out with a brush like this. Because I normally would use this fully, like I said. It was on the other end of the Anastasia brush, but I lost it, so I don't know where it is. Again, probably have to go through my brushes, too, to find it. But I really like this one, so I don't want to find it. <sighs> is that dumb? I'm like, oh, I really like this brush. I don't want to find my other one, because I know I'm just end up using it. But this one is a lot better because it's probably a lot cheaper. Or it's definitely a lot cheaper, but I don't know how much the Anastasia one is anyway or if they even sell it. Just on its own. So anyways, that's that. I don't really set my brows. I just don't think it's necessary for my brows. I'm taking the little highlights, mixing the champagne and the gold, and just popping it in. Yeah. This is kind of um, optional. I either decide to do it or forget to do it. So it just depends on what's going on. Then I'll take that blending brush and blend it out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just do like a crazy line up top. This really needs sharpened, but we will see. Oh no, he's getting louder. I can't talk when I'm doing that. I don't know what it is. I just can't do it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just take this down my neck. This is a hard candy bronzer. I'm going to go ahead and link that video down for you guys down below. Um, but basically, I just bought this stuff from eBay. And it was all good condition. So I decided to film a video and let you guys know that there are good makeup out there. Um, on YouTube, or on YouTube, yes, there's good makeup out here on YouTube, no, um, on eBay, and it's not all fake, so I just wanted to kind of enlighten you guys about it. I'm going to go ahead and set my face, too, because I didn't do that, and I need to, because this cream will just come right off your face. That's just a good tip if you guys are new to cream um, products, set it, no matter if you're dry or not, like, set it, please, please set it. And I really like the airspin because once you set everything, um, you still kind of get like a really nice glow. Even from the highlight, you can still see the glow. <clears throat> so that's why I like it a lot. But the scent again just kind of kills it for me. Okay, so I'm going to move on to my fake eyelashes. I'm going to use some Duo Glue. And these lashes I got from the same, type, from the same place anyway. I'm not sure if it's the same seller. They are $1.99 and you get a set of 10. Um, I wore them yesterday. And I'm going to go ahead and just get the glue going. And I'm going to let Gizmo in because he is... Oh, no. I feel...
feel like um, fake eyelashes are just like a really hot mess. That's how I feel about it. I am back. Let me make sure I get in the thing. Get in the shot. I know you're all thinking, geez Louise, Emily. Okay. Oh gosh. Well, that was a very big fail. Do you guys see that? That was a really bad fail. Um, these lashes are a little bit harder to work with because they come packaged in a package. Um, where they're literally just laying here flat in the box. So you have to definitely, like, where'd you come from? <laughs> you have to definitely bend them before you put them on, because otherwise they, like, won't go on your eyeball. They just won't. A lot of people had trouble with them. So I'm not sure if it's something I would recommend for everyone, but if you are used to lashes, um, they're good. painting this whole lash with um, glue. I hate, I like duo lash glue. Gizmo. Oh, I thought he was peeing. <laughs> um, I hate duo lash glue only because of the scent, so I'm really tempted to buy Car Carissa Puka's social eyelash glue because she says that it's pretty much the quality of the duo adhesive, but it doesn't stink like half this, which it literally smells like, something I smelled before, and it was really gross. <laughs> I don't know. But it, it does. It smells like grossness. And we're putting it on our eyes. Huh. This is the best one that I have found. It works really, really well. I probably look really dumb talking. But it works really well for me. I can't, I've used like the Revlon brush on glue. I've used some others. This one is my favorite. I always come back to this one. It's one I always go for. Um, so that's what those look like. I'm just going to let those dry before I put on any mascara with it. And I'm going to go ahead and do my lippy. I'm going to use the MAC Wonder Woman in Marquez D. But any nude lip color will work. Because this, of course, is limited edition. But literally, it feels just like my lips, but better because this is my lip color over here. It's just so nice. And I like this formula some, for some reason. This um, finger, or this finger. This luster formula is really good. It's not as uh, crazy as the other ones, like the matte formula they have. It's not, and like the, the normal one. I don't know. The normal one really goes into my lines. The luster one doesn't go into my lines as much. Okay, so what are we missing? I feel like something is missing. But I think I, I think I got it all though. Wow, 34 minutes. I feel really bad. Okay, so for my jewelry and stuff today, I'm going to wear just these really pretty hoopy things. I'm not sure what these are. Um, my mom bought them from Kohl's on sale, and I think I got them for Christmas. But I thought they would look good with this outfit today since my dress has some um, peacock type of shades and silver was the way I wanted to go with it. Uh, and these are like a little bit fun because the pattern on here is chevron. So I thought that these were a little bit fun to wear. And the bracelets I'm going to be wearing, um, I'm going to wear a green metallic watch. 
looks, really, that's why I wear it. Um, what am I doing? Okay, so let me stick a look here. What is happening with my bracelet? There we go, with my bracelet, my watch. Okay, and then I'm gonna just put together, I have some green bracelets and blue bracelets, um, cause that kind of matches what's in my, and then I just have some plain ones, um, in my dress, so. I'll just put a handful of these together and go from there. So I haven't stacked my bracelets in a very long time and I kind of miss it, so we're going to do that right now. So I'm going to wear bracelets like that. Yes, I am. I'm the stacking queen. And for my hair, I'll just go ahead and shake it out. I've got a little container full of crap back here bobby pins. And I'm just going to clip back some pieces so that they're not like sticking up like that with some blob bob blonde bobby pins. Okay, so just something like so, and I'm going to go ahead and just do one more step and we'll be done here, guys. So I'm just going to take my mascara to help blend these lashes together just a little bit more or better. And I'm not going to put any on the bottom today, which is so weird for me, but I'm just not going to do it. And we'll let that kind of just do whatevs. And I'm going to put my glasses on. Now, when wearing false lashes and glasses, it's very difficult. For me, anyway, because it's new to me, um, I literally kind of have to put them a little bit farther away so that my lashes don't, like, hit my glasses constantly. Oh, my gosh. And that is my finished look for today, guys. So thanks so much for hanging out with me. I'm so sorry that this was almost a 40-minute video. If you did enjoy it and you want to see more like this, maybe that aren't so long, please let me know in the comments. I love these kind of videos. I love watching them, and I love filming them. This is probably my first long, long Get Ready With Me video. If I have any others, the playlist will be linked down below. But I'll talk to you guys later. Please give it a thumbs up. Any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.